Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to Body Rocking Combos. Um, what did I say about the old um, Charlo brother? 160. Now too uh, small for 168. I told you guys he wasn't going to fight Benavidez. He was all talk. Now he's coming out with more excuses. Um... Uh, more padding for his excuses. Um, all this stuff he's coming out with, man. It's just I, I knew it from the beginning. He was just going to uh, talk all that mess now. I know he's talking about the... Well, you know, we've seen the whole um, vaccine thing, which is okay. I'll give you that. Trying to be responsible. But hey, man, everybody's fighting now. With uh, the test, I mean, you know, he had a fight. Um, what's his name with the test, too, you know? Um, Derby and Jenko. With just those uh, COVID tests, like everybody else is taking the COVID test. I'm not tripping. Yeah? How long ago was that? Anyway, I don't know. I'm tired. I've been working a lot. Sorry, I haven't been doing any shows, but I want to cover up. I want to cover these real quick. And uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, now they're trying to say those aren't excuses. The COVID test. Um, that he's too young. And now he came out talking about that. Well, I'm not even a 168. You know, like his brother said. Like, well, you know, I'd fight Canelo. I'd knock him out, but. <clears throat> Too bad I'm 154. Like, oh, well, you know, well, there goes that out the window. I'm 154. It's not like anybody's ever gone from, you know, a smaller weight to a bigger weight class to beat somebody. Hmm. That's just impossible because, well, he's 154. Like, how can y'all expect that of me? You know? Yeah. How could y'all expect Canelo at 154 to move up to fight Gennady Golovkin while everybody was pushing that? You know, he was at 154. Um, you know, well, how can y'all expect Canelo to move up from 160 to move up and fight uh, David Benavides, um Fight <clears throat> David Pump Plant. <laughs> Who else? Um, oh, y'all even said he Doug Smith. Let me see. Hmm. Well, he was 160. Um how could y'all expect Canelo to go up and fight somebody like um, Kovalev at 175? That's just not his weight class, right? Hmm. How could y'all expect somebody like um, Durant to go up and fight Sugar Ray Leonard and beat him? That's not his weight class, right? But he's great now. I mean, come on, guys. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Uh, one hundred. You know. Anyway, so yeah. So that that's their excuses. You know. It's not like, kind of was like that. Man, I'm at one sixty eight. That's where I'm at. And then everybody's like, oh, he just doesn't want to go up there and fight better people. Why don't he go up there and fight better people? Right, right. And then Jamal Charlo says, Jamal and Jamal. Well, I'm at one sixty. I'm not one sixty eight. I'm one fifty four. Yeah, 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 they're at 154. Y'all can't, y'all can't make them go up there. I mean, that's, that's messed up. Why would y'all do that? Why would y'all expect that from them? Y'all just want to see them lose. Hmm. That's odd. But it's whatever. I mean, I expect that already. <sighs> anyway, yeah, so a bunch of that bull going on and going around. Let's see here. Yeah. Um... Maybe, let's see, uh, 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 how about that, that's better, yeah, you got more light, all right, um, so, um, yeah, man, Jamal Charlo, nothing but excuses, now he's going on vacation, he's mad that everybody's calling him a cherry picking a duck, um, 
Benavidez has a fight coming up. I want to say in March or April. Um, I should have wrote that down or looked into it or kept it up here for some reason. It just kind of slipped by. It'll probably pop up in my head right now here in a little bit. But if not, no biggie. Um, now, Jamal Charlo is um, not ready, not going to fight Canelo. And um, you got people like Ego coming out kind of upset that Jamal and he said Jamal said uh, made a comment about the uh, the Canelo's greatness and giving him props or whatever and they were upset about that but I think it was Jamal that came out and said that it wasn't Jamal but anyway uh, unless they both said it and they both know you know they both know Canelo beat him down and they ain't ready and that's why um Jamal turned down that request to fight to fight Canelo because well he knows his, him and his team know he's not ready. He still needs fights um for that to be ready for that, to be ready for someone on on Canelo's level. And um you know you, you can't expect him to just all of a sudden come out and be like um <clears throat> ready to beat that dude, I mean, uh, you can't because look at his opposition, you know, he, that he's fought. If you look at his resume, that simply tells you and shows you that the man hasn't done anything, you know, close enough to face a Canelo. You know, Canelo went up and faced Austin Trout, and oh, does that get you ready for a Floyd Mayweather? E I don't know, but they sure thought it would. They sure thought it did, but you know, um, no way, no how did that uh, get him ready. But hey, he challenged himself. He went up, or actually came down two pounds, catch weight, and um, fought him with everything he wanted to put: glove size, ring size, uh, you know. Uh, the catch weight and all that he, he accepted that fight and he did the best he can and it fell short all right move on move forward and to greater things he did he is and i don't know these guys are just barking 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 and uh clout chasing left and right all over the place and um it's just not funny and what's funny the funny part is is that all the people that support him all these channels are just you know uh, buying it left and right, and they're supporting it and supporting it. Every little, every little thing he says, they're just supporting. They're going with. This is freaking retarded, or uh, freaking ridiculous. Uh, apologize about that word. Um, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, it's um. It's just dumb, man. You guys got to understand that just because you're a fan of these guys and, and whatever they say, y'all got to buy into, y'all got to um, accept, man, it's just craziness and nonsense, bro. Anyway, um, I'm working out of town. I have no time for these videos. It's not like other jobs where I get a lot of sit down time. Um, anyway, um, I'll try to speed these out as much as possible. It's one uh, thirty eight at night. I gotta wake up here in a little bit. Went to sleep as soon as I got home. Woke up, and I'm knocking these things. I'm gonna try to knock out a few of these videos out. Um, anyway, peace out, fellas. Like it. Share it, subscribe, uh, and most importantly, man, uh, comment, you know, let's uh, talk about it. If you support that man or you believe he's not ducking or anything like that or you just want to talk garbage, you want to talk mess, please, come on. It's my favorite. Yeah. We'll cut it out here at one.